Hello there, friends. Pastor Dave here. It's been a while. My apologies again. I'll try to get better at this. Um, I just wanted to share with you that uh, I have a twin brother. Maybe some of you didn't know that. I think most of you do. Bill, Bill Reinwald, who lives in uh, Connecticut. And um, we just uh, turned 61 years of age a couple of weeks back in September. And uh, we uh, had a great time uh, spending some time at our favorite pizza restaurant, Sue Parties in West Haven, uh, Connecticut. And, and it's neat to go home. Uh, what's that John Bon Jovi song who says you can't go home, right? And so, need to go home and uh, spend some time. Uh, but it's amazing how things change when you go home, isn't it? If, especially if you've been away for many, many years. And I got to go to the shore where I grew up and see my old house uh, where Billy and I uh, were raised in as little boys. Um, and, uh, yeah, you reflect on the past and, you know, our parents have been gone uh, a long time now. And... Uh, I uh, was able to do something really special. I, my, my dad, Bill Reinwald, Bill Sr., uh, had his own gas station. Uh, it was an Atlantic, uh, what, what we would call Arco today, if it's still around, it would be Atlantic Richfield. Uh, it was uh, Reinwald's Atlantic on the corner of First Avenue and Spring Street in West Haven. And uh, dad, you know, pumped gas and checked people's oil and probably cleaned off their windshields like they used to do in the past. And um, the day before, uh, the day we were leaving, actually, uh, that Sunday, the 26th of September, uh, I went to that gas station and I pumped gas in my, in my wife's car. And it's the very spot where my dad pumped gas back in the early 1960s, late 1950s. And I got so emotional. I never, I never imagined I'd get emotional pumping gas, okay? Uh, just to be at this landmark. Of course, it's a mini mart now. Uh, Reinwald's Atlantic Station was torn down many years ago, but but just to be in the same vicinity that my dad would have would have been at uh, so many years ago, uh, it was just really special. And uh, you know, every birthday, I think you're the same as I am. We we miss uh, th those special folks, especially our parents if, if they're gone. And I couldn't help but think of a couple of my favorite verses. I usually share when I when I do a funeral or a memorial service. Um, uh, John chapter 14, Jesus said, "Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God." Believe also in me from my father's house from many mansions. If it were not so, I would tell you. And he says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. I love those four words. Jesus says, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. I just love uh, the comforting words of Jesus that it's all going to work out in the end. And the Apostle Paul reflects this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. He says, uh, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those of us who are alive and remain shall be caught up together in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And not only with the Lord, but with all of our loved ones. And I have this little joke um, I like to share with folks that, you know, unfortunately, without getting into any details, my mom and my dad are buried in two different cemeteries. And so the joke is, which one of us is going to go to dad's and which one, one of us is going to go to mom's when Jesus comes again? Because that's where the action is going to be when Jesus comes. And the dead in Christ shall rise. All the cemeteries, that's where it's going to happen, folks. And I look forward to that day so very much. I'm sure you do as well. Um, the reason I'm sharing these stories with you as I reminisce um, is that I, I write a song for my wife every Christmas, as many of you might know. And... I think this year is going to be song number 14 or 15. Um, I got to write that song pretty soon, right? It's October of 2021. And um, she told me the other day that her favorite one is the one I wrote about my mom and dad. It's called uh, They're Gonna Love You. And it talks about how they both died of cancer 30 years apart. Um, and that even though, I, I always tell Jackie, they would have they loved you. They, they would love you if they were alive today. Uh, they would be so proud to see the kind of wife God has given me. Um, and so I'd like to sing this song for you in honor of my parents, and my wife, and always my daughter, Sarah, as well. And uh, it's called They're Gonna Love You. It goes like this. My father died in 64. Cancer took its toll. Could 
that anyone had loved me more. Thought I'd never know. Then I fell in love with you that bright October day. Just the way you've honored me caused me to say. He would have loved you for the way that you love me. He would have loved you for the way that you hold me. When we get to heaven and you're right there by my side, you will get to know you and this truth won't be denied. He would have loved you. My mother died in 94. Yes, cancer took its toll. Could anyone have loved me more? Again, I thought I'd never know. Girl, you've been giving me the best years of my life. If only mom could see me now, she'd be glad that you're my wife. She would have loved you. the way that you love me. She would have hugged you for the way that you hold me. When we get to heaven and you're right there by my side, she will get to know you and this truth won't be denied. She would have loved you. I know this vision in my heart cannot be wrong. Because one day you're going to meet them and you'll see and I was right all along. They're gonna love you.